here is the intro to Imagine by John Lennon, played on the ukulele in C. Um, this is a very slowed down um, version of just an intro to give you an idea of how you can practice it a couple different ways. Um, the chords are fairly simple. It's a C followed by a C major 7, which is just one step down from the C, followed by an F. Second string from the bottom on the first fret, and the fourth string from the bottom on the second fret. So you have C, C major 7, and F. There's a couple different ways you can strum it to practice. Um, the first and most um, basic way to get started on it, just to get the chord changes down, would be to just strum on the beat. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, That's the first way. The second way you can do it is to add the little embellishments <clears throat> that would be played on the piano at the beginning, which would sound something like this. timing fits in the same way as the first method. It's still one, two, three, four count. So you would go one, two, That's the two main ways to play the intro to Imagine. I have a slowed down version of the same video showing each of those little steps if you want to play the um, second version and you're having trouble seeing exactly what I'm doing there. Um, just go to the page that my music lessons are on and you can find the slowed down intro. But this is two basic ways to practice it. You can strum it main thing is the counting, changing chords on the right beat. So you have three beats on C, one, two, three, and then one beat on C major seven, and then four beats on this F chord, two, three, four. The only difference is when you play the, you cut that short, so you play only three strums on the F chord, one, two, three because the fourth beat of that is going to be taken up with this little note note by note thing that that all fits into one beat that's one beat so think of it in terms of beats and not so much strumming because you can strum it a few different ways but still within the same number of beats so you have one two So we still end up with one on C every time. You get back to, to C on the first beat. So work on the timing, the chord changes, a little bit of a different strumming pattern, but keep it kind of simple to start. The song has a simplistic sound, so you don't want to overdo it with too many strumming patterns and everything else. Just stick with the, the right flow of the melody, the way it would sound if you were listening to it, 
on uh, record or whatever and um, have fun with it.